So, on the face of it, things look simple. If they want to make the knockout stages, this is all or nothing. Three points needed, and should they fail to collect those points, they will be going home and staying there. It all makes this very tense, really, for some, unbearable. The stress level's particularly high, but for those of us who are neutral, myself included, it is utterly compelling, and that is how it should be. This, of course, one of the most recognisable venues in the Netherlands, perhaps the whole of the continent. It is the Johan Cruyff Arena. We stand for the national anthem of France. They have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem. Now to match it. France are utterly focused and determined. They know how much this means. Well, Peter, there's good pressure and bad, but this leans very much to the former and a big chance to take everything on a level. These players have to embrace and, and tackle the task ahead with the courage and confidence they've grown for a time like this. I expect them to, to swim and not sink, and they won't need a, a rubber ring here either. So off we go then. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Kylian Mbappe. There's nothing more frightening for a defender when he's running at you at full speed. He gets into a stride so quickly and seems to just glide across the turf. But when the goal's in front of him, he's also got that cool head that's required to, to pick a spot and finish everything off. I'm thinking the same. He will be a central feature, no doubt. Kolasinac. Pjanic. Played into space out wide. Mbappe. Aimed in towards the centre. Bosnia have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Mbappe. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Pavar. No efforts on target is acceptable if levels of enthusiasm and energy are good, and they're not. Pavar. It's a loose ball. Mbappe. win here is so important to their ambitions. 
Kasunic. Hoists it forward, and it's Hirovic. Gets wrestled off the ball. Yeah, he's fouled him there. There could be trouble here. And for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Conte, Matuidi, Mbappe, Mbappe! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. Well, more than happy to take the muscular approach. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw, some real no-nonsense defending. He's got away! He's been bundled over, that is a foul. And he is going into that little black book. Looking round their fallen colleague, and they look worried. <laughs> Repelled by the keeper. Final action of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. You feel back on the first 45 minutes. Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. So they head in no further forward. The score here still 0 0. They're promptly into the second 45 minutes. France can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Matuidi plays it out to the wing. Bicetic does well there, alert. He gets past his man. And it's Matuidi. Mbappe. Hirovic, Pjanic. Finds himself eased off the ball. Griezmann. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. And it's Dzeko. Mbappe did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. That's a throw. Cuts it out. Kolasinac. Well, that's where he wants it. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Well, he's pretty much been a crossing machine, and they're now trying to unplug that. Looking to force his way through. Hernandez. 
Giroud. Oh, well intercepted, really alerts the danger. Cleared without complication. Hits one! His reputation is better than what we've just seen. Bicekic. Throw in. Bosnia and Herzegovina are making a change now. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Pjanic. They're making life really hard for themselves. The ball needs to be in the mixer, not there. Mbappe. And it's Giroud. You wonder if... And time is up. A frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge. And it has finished goalless. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? France must have viewed this game as very winnable, but will no doubt have a healthier respect for this opposition. Well, hello and welcome to everybody who's tuning in from around the world. I'm sure that you can sense a very different feeling in atmosphere and ambience around the ground, certainly by comparison with what we've seen before in this year's competition. Gone now are second chances, points and tables, that sort of thing confined to the group stage. From this point on, nothing other than a win suffices. The move here is expectant and nervous. No question that this is one of the great capital venues of the Netherlands, the Johan Cruyff Arena, Amsterdam. We stand for the national anthem of France. On performance and now here comes the response There's a perceptible change in mindset here, both in terms of crowd and players. You know, Peter, it's the suddenness that I love when you get to this phase of the competition. The suddenness in which you can find yourself in a good position, or the suddenness in which you can, it can go against you. That introduces drama, which creates great excitement, and ultimately, 
you get a much more entertaining show. see making a difference here yeah Hugo Lloris his lightning fast reactions and all-round shot stopping ability make him a formidable obstacle for opposition striker this is gone that's a foul that's the talking to I think yes it is yeah well they were exposed and, and vulnerable and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then Gone to Reds. Well, conceding free kicks in areas like that are an invitation to the set piece technicians. They have to cut this out. Good idea, just poorly executed. Now it's Kane. It's anyone. Kane! Same again, same outcome. England really are in the ascendancy here, and they know they have to register while that's the case. Varane goes looking. Rice with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. Pavard. Mbappe, now it's Griezmann, played out to the right, in for a header! He's missed, but not by that far, a more than decent attempt, Peter. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move. And he has been fouled there. Just stood firm. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help. Has a hit! Just off target. Look, I'm sure he'll deny it, Peter, but the keeper didn't have that covered. Matuidi, and it's Giroud, good ball, it's come through, face to face with the keeper, good clearance and very necessary, and he's on his way, Kane, he is not one readily to admit defeat, don't be surprised if he tries that again, Lovely bit of skill. Pogba. Giroud. Giroud drives it forward. Out to the right. Maguire gets good distance on it. it upfield 
Kante does well there, alert. And here's the chance to counter. And he's surging through. And, oh, that's too long. Pavard. That's a promising ball. Stones positions himself well and cuts it out. Defence has got rid of that. Forward it goes. Gets the better of his man. Oh, and the shot! It's in! Look, there are always tactical adjustments for any coach to make at half-time, but when your star man gives you a critical lead just before the break, everyone will be paying extra attention. It really is the ideal tunnel. England are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, registering that crucial first goal has now given them more incentive and, and motivation to take this on. Pavard. And that'll be the final action of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but that still had its moments, and ultimately produced just one goal. Oh, this is aim up to now. Well, it hasn't exactly got the plan so far, but there's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help swing things back in their favour. Start of the second half. Well, it seems like the perfect situation for Fortune favouring the Brave. 45 minutes to pack in enough risk taking to get this match turned around. It's very doable. Hernandez. Giroud. It's Giroud! Just a fraction high. Giroud. Probably tried a bit too hard then. He should have relied on technique as opposed to power. Alexander Arnold. Barkley. He's in! Kane! Hoists it forward. Matuidi. Questions were asked. And he's given the answers. And it's Rashford. Kane. Kane with a shot. And it goes. Two to the good. They have breathing space. Lovely goal. Perfect poise to set himself for the strike. England have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. Havar. This is quite a run and he's not done yet. Towering header! He's done well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Look, there are some very good headers of a ball in this team now, and they'll be demanding the right delivery to give them a chance to uh, to go at this. Now, can he capitalise? Can he find a finish now? Rice. Rice plays it forward. Mbappe. And now they can launch a counter. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Goalkeeper's ball. And it's played forward. And it's got through. He's got away. Oh, whistle's gone. Now then. 
France really could have done without this. for a cool head and that is precisely what he showed well that looked a simple case of giving the keeper the eyes and just slipping the ball to the other side that was clever England take the three goal lead and they are romping out of sight Maguire fires from distance Much subtlety, he's launched himself there. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. And it's Griezmann. It's Giroud! Saved. That's good keeping. France are showing good urgency, but they have to place more emphasis on service into the box. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Chilwell. Is there any support? He might not need it. Well, they're looking at the referee, but he's waved play on. Giroud. Over to the left. He's left his man. Mbappe! It's off target and by quite a way. England are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Trippier. Surely a shot. Conte. Hernandez. Mbappe. Mbappe takes control of it and he's on the move. It's the through ball. Giroud. It has got Mbappe! That's it, they are out. And that is the reality of knockout football. One slip and you're gone, and they are gone. Your final thoughts, Jim? And a premature exit from their viewpoint, though there are positives to be taken, it's both sad and, and satisfying.